All right, homie G's, let's do a few other things to get this game working properly. So come down to your standard assets folder, go inside the Graeme Scripts SLE, and I want you to place two folders in here. So move down your Unity window, go into the SLE Game Setup folder on your desktop, go into the Game Scripts SLE, and I want you to grab Anderson Script, drop it in like that, and Student Script drop it in Oop. make sure it goes in and there you go and we can close that out for now now what I want you to do is look inside the Anderson script inside here I have some script for audio to start playing after you collect all the SLEs and to have things to start rotating in different directions if you look in the student script we have a respawn script this was created by Lee okay so what we're going to do is I want to add this respawn clip to my player. So click on the player, go down to your inspector all the way on the right and scroll all the way down to add component, click add component, and you can actually just start typing in respawn if you want and it should pop up and add that. Add that to your player. That will now allow your player when you jump off of the terrain, it'll automatically come back on. That's going to be important for when the fourth grade tests our games. Then I want you to create a new object over in your hierarchy. So right click in your hierarchy on the top left, do create empty. You should create a game object like this. Let's rename this to audio. All right. So click on audio here, go over to add component in your inspector and start to type in audio. And I want you to add this audio source, okay? That will add that game script. We want to do one other thing, hit add component again, and we're going to add the zero remaining audio. So start to type in zero. Here's zero SLEs remaining audio. I want you to add that. That will That's the script I created that will allow music to start to play after you collect all your SLEs. So we need to add some music to this, okay? Because we have no source. See where it says audio clip up here on the top right where it's audio source? There's nothing here. We need to add some music. So let's go back to our standard assets on the bottom left and go back to your folder here. I have a couple sounds that you can add we can add some of your own later just grab these sounds i want you to grab this sound folder and drop it right in and just put it right in your standard assets okay so give it a second and there it is inside here i have a congratulations sound and this is some music made by a student in GarageBand. these are just going to be used as tests we can add your own music later Okay, so now click on your audio in the hierarchy and then grab either the congratulations or the music and I want you to take it and drag it and then drop it right over here into the audio source on the right. See where it says audio clip, none, drop it in and it should say music. Then I want you to come right here and where it says play on awake, unclick it because you don't want the music to play right when you start the game. Great, the next thing you should do really quickly is go back to your player in the hierarchy and scroll all the way down and make sure your remaining points is set to one for right now because we just want to test this we just want to collect one object to see if it works so we don't have to waste our time collecting them all hit play and now i should have one remaining so i should just have to collect one and music should start playing let's see what happens there it is perfect so the music works so that's good so now I want to hit play again, and let's just see if the respawn works. So I suggest hitting play and just running off the side and see if you automatically show back up on your screen. Boom, there it is. So that worked too. Perfect. So the next thing I want you to check out is if you go to your game scripts and you go back into Anderson scripts, I also have these rotations, zero remaining rotation scripts. If you add this to any of your objects, they will start to rotate when music is when, when you collect all your SLEs. So for example, I'm going to go over here on my hierarchy. I have all these lights. See all these lights around the church? I'm going to just take all these spotlights and I'm going to add one of these rotation scripts and see what happens. I'm going to add, let's do rotation three. So I'm going to highlight them all. See how I highlighted them all? And I'm going to do add component. And I'm going to add the zero SLE three. You want to test some of them because some of them rotate in different directions. Now that should start rotating all the lights. I'm going to add another one too to the cross on top of the church. So I'm going to add a, let's add a rotate three to that one and see what happens. 
And then I'm going to add one too to Monsignor. Why not? Let's make him move around. So I'm going to grab Monsignor and just play around with the which ones. And I believe on this one I like to rotate one. I also did it to my directional light. I added zero remaining rotate one to my sun. That's why when I collected all the SLEs, the sun goes down and it starts acting crazy. So that's a cool thing too. So let's hit play and see if all that works. Oh, and... So the cross is rotating. As is Monsignor. The lights aren't doing much, so I'm going to change the script and see if maybe Rotate 3 isn't the best option for that one. So I'm going to remove this component, and I'm going to add, let's try Rotate 2. Let's see what that one does. Oh, yeah, Rotate 2. That's where it's at. And that's it. Good luck.